Good morning, I am Joseph Regis. I am a student of Physical Education, Recreation and Sports. Uh, San Antonio Coliseum. The San Antonio Covered Coliseum is a sports coliseum located in the San Antonio neighborhood of Tunja. It is an important stage for sport practice, mainly futsal, which was shortest as a venue for the Soil Soccer World Cup. It is the headquarters of the Sampa Social Club, a futsal team of the first category of the Colombia Futsal League, also known as the Argos and Heroines League of Tunja FC, FSC. The Women's Club of the Futsal Women's Postobon Cup, as well as the Eagles team in the Directive Basketball League. The Patinodrome. It is one of the best sport venues that is capacity for 400 people. The track was built with international standards that regulate this type of scenario. The construction of the patindrome cost approximately 10,180 million de pesos. It has tracks for the practice of various sport disciplines, hockey, root, speed and figure skating. It also has space of ambulances, press areas, both for the public and for athletes, a visiting and a grandstand with capacity for 2,200 spectators. Stadium La Independencia. La Independencia Stadium is located in the Olympic Village of the city of Tunja, capital of the department of Boyacá. There is capacity for 18,000 spectators. This stadium hosts the match played by local Patriotics Club in the first A category and Boyacá Chico in the first B category of Colombian professional soccer. The athletic track is a historical stage of the city of Tunja. It is one of the areas where high performance athletes for, from the city meet to practice their different disciplines such as athletics, calisthenics, bullet shooting, hammer and hobbling. A municipal Coverit Coliseum is important sport in Essen recently remodeled being deported Boyacá in this place. The professional basketball league is mainly played in addition of other recre recreational and cultural activities such as those performed daily and during the International Festival of Culture. Another recreational park. It has an equipment for recreational and sport, there are two modules for children's games. There are green areas, there is space for aerobics, there are tennis courts with their brick powder floor. They are the best in the department, soccer and basketball courts. It is facilities are frequented daily by athletes and students in search of fun recreation. Park the Library Skate Park. This space has bio healthy parks. There is a beautiful take do set be a bridge. There are playgrounds and areas for working in a space that allow not only to come into contact with the poor air for the city, but also to enjoy the spectacular surroundings and the views of the beautiful mountains that surround the city for those who like to practice or Observe the stream sports at the skate park was built where these types of athletes have an ideal space for skateboarding and busy cross. Uh, the gym, uh, Smart Fit. It is one of the most influential gyms in the city. There are high quality equipment and technology designed to improve your performance and train safely. The trainings are designed and customized according to the objectives of each person.
The sites described in the portfolio are exclusive sites for sports. Thanks to the fact that Tunja is not so big, we can visit this place, be walking or cycling. The farthest sites are the San Antonio Coliseum and the Patindrome, but you can take a bus. The ticket costs 1,600 pesos. Uh, the food. Uh, Tunja is a city where people seek to get ahead as of place. So in San Antonio neighborhood, you can find restaurants where to have lunch. In the north near this place, uh, there are several places where you can have lunch as they are. Bruder, Brazas de Oro, La Casa China, Restaurante, Mi Rincón Mexicano, Pizza Show, Burger Stop, Cocheros, Unicentro, and Viva Tunja.